Watch it, make it, like it, and support us by subscribing. Thank you. For this project, you will need wax paper, um, a paper cup, or the, I'm using a paper plate, something disposable, because this is where you're going to put the glue in. Um, although, I will be using washable glue, so glue, a paintbrush, um, paint, I'm using acrylic craft paint, and floss. Um, or thread, uh, a yarn, um, some sort of thread to make the outline. Uh, like I said, I'm using embroidery for floss. Oh, and a piece of paper. And that's where we'll start. Um, so I drew a design already on my piece of paper. I'll come in close, see if... That's my design. This is not... Uh, I'm not using the lines, I just scrubbed whatever paper I had in, around. And you're going to put a piece of wax paper over it. Um, you can tape this down if you'd like. Um, so before I begin that, I'm going to take a paper plate and put some glue in it. and then get my string all gooey. Put my string in it. I should just put it all in. I don't even think I need all this um, thread, but there you go. Gooey, gooey. So the nice thing about uh, getting the glue on it is there's a more weightiness so uh, if your thread or yarn was um, um, curling up the this glue should lighten it up I think I have too much thread here but I'm not gonna worry about it I'll just cut it okay so go to your image with the wax paper on top. Okay, so you have your thread with the glue and you're going to start. The nice thing about having the glue on is that your thread will not curl up on you like it sometimes does, particularly with yarn Embroidery floss does it a little bit, but not as much. Okay, so I have way too much string here, so I'm going to trim it down. Let me get some of this glue off so I can use my scissors. I still think I have too much thread there, but um, at some point you want the thread to make a closed loop. So these two are sticking together right there, so I, I want that. So you, having an open face is not a good idea, but I went a little further to make it a bit of a design and put a little curl in the inside. Actually, I'm going to use my needle here and move it because my hands are incredibly sticky. You can use a pencil or I'm using a needle or a tack, something that's not sticky and Okay, so I'm a little concerned about the connector. So I've decided what I'm going to do is try to dab a little bit of glue where it connects, just so it stays in place. Um, and I should also add, this should dry for at least 12 hours, 24 if you want, uh, for the best results. 
which I think I'm going to do is wait 24 hours. So now we're going to sit and let that dry. Okay, so this is day two of the heart craft. Um, I will say this: it, it, I, I waited 24 hours, but it probably could have, I probably could have done something last night because by afternoon it felt dry, but I just didn't have the time until doing it today. So what you want to do is to fill in this area with glue. Get out the bubbles if you can. Make sure it touches the string because the string is going to hold it together when you peel it off the wax paper. I first saw this in Hawaii. Um, someone made these beautiful flowers and I asked how they made it and she said I don't she was selling it for a friend and she said I don't know but I know she uses glue and I've always been curious about it so I came across a method so um, the next thing you want to do is to take your paint and just color it in swirl it about however you want it. I think it would have been cool if I put in some black paint. Now um, as you can see I'm getting some of the glue and the paint on um, my paintbrush so um, make sure you put the paint on a plate so um, you don't ruin it, but now this one will most likely have to wait 24 hours because you're doing thick glue. Um, I have heard of people using um, I have heard of people using uh, watercolors for this. I, I don't know how, but. Um, and that the watercolors will soak into um, the string if you have like a white string. I'm going to make sure that this glue is also touching the string because it really has to be attached in order for me to peel it off. I want to see the other side. Okay. So the second one I, I made because I had that extra string. And this one I'm going to put the paint down first and then put the glue on and then put some paint on again. As you can see this came up, I don't know if you can see, but this came off the paper a little bit. I'm putting the paint kind of thick because I need the glue to pick it up and it, it will have trouble even though it's I wonder if I can pin this down since I have a cork board the glue is not touching the string and I really need it to. So since I, like I said, I, this is a cork underneath, I'm going to use that. Put the glue, push the glue so it fills in all areas. I'm pushing it with the paint so the paint, I can get more paint in there. So now I have paint on both sides. What would have been neat is like, I should have used two colors, like black and red. That might have been neat. Okay. So, um, I will be back in 24 hours. And hopefully we'll have a heart here. Um, one of the other things, real quick, if you wanted to 
to make this into a pendant or something. I don't have it with me but, uh, today, but you can get like um, a, in the jewelry department and put it inside, put, put it here and put the glue around it. Um, and then when you were finished, you would poke a hole through it. I, I should have gotten one, I, I forgot. I was thinking about that yesterday. Yeah, well. Okay. One last thing I forgot. I really wanted to put some sprinkles on. Sprinkles, glitter. I keep calling it sprinkles because I'm going to sprinkle it on. <laughs> on the other one. Okay. I might smush that around a bit while I can with my paintbrush. Spread it out a little bit more evenly. It doesn't look like I... There. Okay. Okay, it's day two for this project. Um, it's dry. So... I'm going to peel it off now. A little nervous. Obviously gentle, gentle, gentle is the key. Oh, there it is. I'm trimming the edges. Now, I'm able to peel it off. It is just glue. And there you go. And um, actually, here's my needle. I could take a needle and poke through it and put a string. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll have to get a string and show you that in a minute, but I just don't have any thread with me right now. I have another one, a bigger one. This is the one where I put paint on the other side. Uh, and you can see this string in here came out faintly. I almost think I should have put a different color in there. Live and learn. Is this still wet? Nope. Cool. Ooh, I can feel it's bendy. I think the only thing I would do differently, um, when I remake this, if I make this again, because I could see me doing this for other holidays, is um, trimming it. Is I would put a piece of wax paper on top, and I, I, I don't know. Actually, I like the way it came out, so no, I wouldn't. Because if you notice, the other side where the wax paper was on does look kind of plasticky. So I like this look on the top. All right, let me go get some thread and I can make it so it's a hanging, like a hanging ornament or even a necklace, which would be neat for the kids. I like this one better. This one put a lot of paint. And this one, I put the paint on the bottom and then the glue. This one I didn't. I like this one better. I like that it has a, a bit of a see-through look, but that's a personal opinion. All right, let me go get some thread. Okay, I got some thread. It is uh, quilting thread because uh, quilting thread is a little bit tougher than um, your average thread. And I am going to poke through because remember it is just... just um, glue and it will wash away if it gets wet So, because this is washable glue. So um, there's your thread. I put it up to the window. I'll try to take a picture so you guys can see. Um, and it looks neat. You can use it as a sort of like a stained glass. Um, you can also, if you wanted to wear it around a, a necklace or something, you could take this string, tie it around a type of chain. I, I wouldn't put the chain through here I don't know, I'd be reluctant to, to make too big of a hole. Maybe I'll try that with this one. Hmm. Anyway, 
Um, there's your glue heart. Kind of a neat project, unique. And happy Valentine's Day. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.